Okay, time for part two of rating fictional kitty art, namely from my 2013 edition of Warriors the Ultimate Guide. Disclaimer, I am not judging the quality of the artwork by Wayne McLaughlin, as stated in my ThunderClan episode. I absolutely love his stuff, but the direction given by the Warriors team seems to have been lacking in the creation of some of these. <laughs> That being said, I will be rating these cats on how accurately someone could see what the cat looks like and possibly acts like based on the illustration alone. So onto the Shadow Clan cats deemed worthy enough to be in this book by the 2013 Warriors team. So Ragged Star is listed first, and for a cat whose name should give an insight on what they look like, I am pretty disappointed. Yes, he's a brown tabby with amber eyes, and I can accept his rounder, softer appearance from his parentage between a cat named Featherstorm and a kitty pet. Uh, they could have at least given him torn up ears, so he gets a D. Sage Whisker. So I have Yellowfang's secret, but I'm at college, so I'm not going to page through it. But from the Warriors Wiki, I know that she's a white she cat with long whiskers, and from this description, this seems pretty legit, but apparently she's supposed to have blue eyes, seeing as her name is Sage Whisker and Sage Flowers are purpley. I will go with that canon then, and uh, then I'll have to put this ad in F. I'm sorry, you are very gorgeous, but this is incorrect. Running Nose and Little Cloud are next, and this is where we finally get some accuracy. Like in my last video, I will rank these two individuals. But since I only have one image of the two, I'm just going to be putting them where the higher ranking individual falls. Uh, Running Nose gets a B. His fur and eye color are correct, but like Reckonstar, he's missing his namesake. Unlike Reckonstar though, I can just decide to believe that Little Cloud just decided to clean him up a little bit before the picture. Little Cloud, on the other hand, gets an A. Like in his description, he is a brown tabby with blue eyes. Yes, he is a bit brighter than other brown tabbies we're more familiar with, but since this is a fictional book series, this diversity in coloration definitely gets a thumbs up from me. Broken Star or Broken Tail is next, and I just don't understand this. Broken Tail has never really been known for his introspection, but I guess it's a cool dramatic pose. I guess it looks accurate. But I dislike how vague this image looks for one of the biggest baddies in the first part of the Warriors series. They also didn't give him a Persian-y muzzle, which I'm kind of sad about, because I like the idea that there's just a bunch of Persian cats in Old Shadow Clan from Kitty Pet Interbreeding and the like, but I can't fault the image for it, so I'll just give him a B. Next is Nightstar, or Night Pelt, and what can I say? This is perfect, I love it, and it's amazing. It has his black fur, yellow-green eyes, and torn ears to signify his long past as a warrior. A plus for Nightstar and for the attention to detail. On to Tigerstar, and damn, I think I'm gonna have to give two A pluses in a row. This is actually a piece of Warriors fan art that I think is pretty iconic. He even has his appropriate ear notch and nose scratch. He is perfect. And his posing and bramble claws look pretty close to boot, which I love. Nothing else to say here, this is just perfect. Blackstar is next, and I don't know why they couldn't just do this for the Thunderclown cats, because these guys are all so good! He even looks like the thick-headed leader we know him to be with his build. This is great, and I'll give him an A. Now for Russet Fur. And I don't know why, but I've always loved her and was pissed off when Lion Blaze just straight up murdered her that one time. I would have loved seeing her as leader, though she was in Yellowfang's secret and that would have been way too old for the Warrior Cats fans to get down with. Speaking of old, that's even shown in the white fur around her muzzle and I love it so much. This is also so good. I don't know what's happening here and why the cats are suddenly all canon, but this also gets an A. Next is the cad who came to Shadow Clan with Russet Fur, Boulder, and I'm going to have to give him an A as well. There's just nothing bad with this. He's got a little nick in his ear, and the colors are right, and the only problem with this is that Boulder didn't get a full body shot like Russet Fur did. 
The last two cats are ones that weren't introduced in the prequel Super Edition, starting with Tawny Pelt. The fandom is kind of split on its interpretation of Tawny Pelt, but I think we all know what she looks like canonically. And I think we're all pretty chill with that design, even if we don't use it. I think the most iconic part of this is the orange splotch on her forehead. In this, she looks like how she's supposed to look in the book. Though I am kind of wondering where the tawny color is. Perhaps her chest fur was a bit darker and her orange splotches were a bit lighter as a kitten. And aid to this because it's technically correct despite my frustrations. And the last cat is her son. The one with obviously the most relevance in the Warrior series, Flametail. I am baffled as to why Tigerheart was not in here. Though, maybe the team just hadn't decided that he was going to be so important to the plot. But, they have Dovewing listed, and Dovewing meets him in her first book? I'm honestly just very confused as to why he's in this book. Flametail isn't a bad choice though, since he was a POV character for a few chapters. And that POV status seems to have given him the same treatment as the other ThunderClan cats, seeing as we finally have a cat with some problems. Flametail has blue eyes, but these are... Amber? Green? I have no clue. Either way, he gets an F. And so that wraps up part two of my ranking the official Warriors art series. What do you guys think? WinClan is next, and I think they only have like seven cats, so that'll be pretty easy to record. It'll be coming out soon if you guys want it. Honestly, I have a few videos coming up though with a possible face reveal. So if you're interested in seeing something like that, I guess you'll only have to wait a little while longer. Thanks for watching. Bye.